Welcome to Houston, Texas, and the home of the Rice Owls, where we are anticipating a full house of fans who give a hoot. Today, an in-state battle between two teams from the state of Texas, and when you face off against another squad from the Lone Star State, the emotions tend to run a little higher. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the UTSA Roadrunners, taking on a fellow AAC opponent, the Rice Owls. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. Nice, ready to kick it off and get this game started. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So UTSA's offense will get the first crack at it here. And there he is, the man, David, that they build this entire attack around. And it's so nice to have a guy that makes everything easy for the people around him. The quarterback plays better because the feature is clear who that is. And we all hold our breath every time this guy touches the football. He's able to take it the distance on any given play. And the Roadrunners are in the hurry up. I don't know if that was a bust defensively, but there was nobody in the middle of the field that time, making it way too easy for the offense to pick up a chunk play in the middle. Caught in the backfield, it's Henry. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. From the gun, the Gale looking for room. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They're bringing heat. He'll pull it down and run. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. The Roadrunners will bring the punt team onto the field. They'll look to pin him deep. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. The offense will try to get something started with their first possession. The offense lining up for a first down play. To the ground with the back. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Quarterback on the keeper. Turns it on at midfield. And they're getting it rolling with that play to the 42-yard line. They've come out with answers on this possession and now another first down. He leaves it with the back. And that's a very productive first down play and bringing up second and three. Motion from the offense. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Fires to the big fella. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. This Rice offense has a nice looking drive going. Looking for a man. It's Warner. Fires to the wideout. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. That's reeled in. It's Connors. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. He built this offense around finding mismatches and just get the ball to the back and let him do his thing. Yeah, it didn't have to be long down the field. Like it threw it right near the line of scrimmage. But you know I got a guy, when he gets in space, he can make big plays happen. Nice decision by the QB. Let's see if Rice can get it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Now on second and goal. They're going to run it. 
He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one yard line. Will they be able to get that one more yard and stick it in here on third down? Trying to barge their way in. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. The give. Not only will he not get in, they'll stop him behind the line at the four. They're backed up, first and ten from inside their own five. Let's see if they can create some space. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And the Roadrunners want to crank the tempo. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Backing up and backing up on the first two plays. Now to try to throw it in drive on third down. Here's the handoff. Couldn't find any way to get out of the end zone, and they get him for a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field. Put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. So after taking the safety, they'll line up for a free kick from their own 20. Pulls it in at the 25. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. A really disappointing end of that last drive, David. Getting stopped on fourth and goal, they'll try to recreate. And, and I think I'm preaching to my squad right now. Listen, we drove the ball down the field. We didn't just punch it in. Let's put another drive together, Jesse. And this time, let's get some points. You're right, because there were a lot of positives on that last round. They did a lot of things really well. They just got to do a better job of finishing. Makes the tackle at the 46, but it's a 15-yard gain to get them into plus territory. Give to the back. Hard running there. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Right back to him on the ground. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third down, going up top. Pressure coming. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Yeah, they didn't have to blitz. They brought in the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end, and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency. Bro. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat. You're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. We'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. He'll keep it himself. Mm. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Coming after it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And that's a great job by this defense. You don't care about yards anymore. Yards are arbitrary. Let them drive down the field, so be it. You want to keep touchdowns off the board, and they might have just done that with a sack right there. 
and the field goal unit is on the field. The holder will spot it about 35 yards out. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. Winning the turnover battle is so important. You've got to make these turnovers convert into points. They get the fumble recovery. Yeah, they didn't get a touchdown, but they're still able to get a field goal and put three points up. After putting the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. He'll get this drive started from the 29. The give to the back. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Offense gets set for second down. To the air, it's McCown. Fires left. Finds a man by himself. What a play by this offense. Finally out of bounds and a perfect way to wrap up the first quarter. We reached the end of the quarter, guys, and Rice has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. They'll run it from the gun. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. The Roadrunners headed quickly to the line. Second down. Wants to throw on second down. Makes the grab. It's Clark. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. That last completion still leaving them with a third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. And the Roadrunners have their offense in high gear. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Knocked down, but not before he crossed into the red zone and picked up four yards down to the 17. Brings up second down. Caught in the backfield, it's Henry. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Muscling ahead on third and short. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Roadrunners. You know, this guy's had a big role in this offense this year, especially when they get down close to the end zone. That's his fifth rushing touchdown on the year. He's been a factor for these guys offensively. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Pittsburgh is down right now, but this young man under center has shown some moxie today. We could see a legend board in the Steel City. They're trailing by 11 to Cal. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Perfect play call for that big game to open the drive. Now here they come on first and 10. Well, when you're throwing these comeback routes, man, the timing has got to be so good between the two of them because you know the ball is going to be in the air a long time. You can't throw it late. It's going to get picked. That time, really nice job getting it out early and the receiver doing a nice job on his route so that the ball was right on him as soon as he turned around. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Oh, it's a reverse. 
for an offense, to make the wide receiver reverse work, you've got to have a lot of guys doing a good sell job. Running backs have to behave as if they're actually going to keep the football, and everybody else on offense has to be yelling out, run, to try to make the defense over pursue. And the pressure gets to him down, goes the quarterback. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense, applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Rice will be forced Number to send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Anderson. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball downhill. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. He lost it high and deep down the left side. Well, even though that pass was incomplete, I wouldn't be shocked if this defense in the second half decides to play some deeper coverages. This offense has already shown. They're willing to be aggressive, and they've got a lot of speed. Moving forward, this defense cannot afford to give up big plays in the pass. The Roadrunners want to pick up the tempo. They'll run for it on third and short. Now they're really starting to threaten as they pick up the first down at the 34-yard line. And that's a nice third down conversion for this offense. And I'll tell you what, the struggle for this offense has been stringing those first downs together. They're, they're not in the top 50 in college football in first downs. They'll get one and then they kind of stall. Let's see if they can put multiple first downs together. Get one of those long drives going. And the Roadrunners getting set on first and 10. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. He finds a dead spot in the middle. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the 10. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Got it behind the line. It's McCoy. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Got away from trouble and got rid of it using the quick game that throw and catch gets them down to the six and the defense is running out of answers looking to the end zone on third and goal waiting for someone and he'll finish the run and the end zone Touchdown, UT San Antonio! Having a playmaker like this guy is just an added bonus for this offense. Yeah, it is, Reese, and he's got tremendous awareness. He feels what the defense is trying to do, and he knows if he can break contain and get outside, nobody's going to catch him. He showed you the wheels right there. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And he got into the house from the six to finish it. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Takes the handoff. It's Connors. Just gets it to the 20, a pickup of one. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Single back formation, and they give it to him. 
stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking for a man, it's Warner. Getting some heat. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He'll bring it back. It's Anderson. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. He'll run it again. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. The Roadrunners in the hurry up. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Clark. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. They'll try to snap it quickly. Off the play fake. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. And that's one he'd like to have back. Quarterback can't pull the trigger, and down he goes at the 41. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. And the Roadrunners will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt goes out of bounds. We'll see where the officials spot it, but they certainly gave him no opportunity for a return. Trying to find his man on first down. Finds his tight end. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Now on the counter. Finds a crease at the 20. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Might as well give it to him again. They opened the lane and he hit it again of five out to the 33. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. To the air, it's Warner. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Feeling some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Man, this poor quarterback, he's got no time. You gotta protect your quarterback. You gotta find different ways to do it. Sometimes it's not working with four wide receivers. Maybe you bring in a couple tight ends, go max protection, more guys blocking, less guys in routes, but you gotta find something to have success. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. Looking to go up top on first down. He looks that one in nicely. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget... It's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. 
And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. Grabbed behind the line, it's Clark. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. We've reached the two-minute warning, and they will try to build on what has already been a dominant first-half performance. They're going to throw it again. Quarterback feeling that pressure, and he's knocked down at the 42. How great is it if you're a defensive coordinator that you know I can put six DBs on the field in my dime package, and I can still get home rushing four. My guys up front are better than your guys, and we're going to go through it, and they did just that. The Roadrunners will try to pin them back with the punt. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Back to throw, it's Warner. He hurls one deep down the left side. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. And the heat gets there. And they get him down at the 14-yard line. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. Going to run it. It's Alexander. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He gets a block. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Line gets set, first down. He wants to throw. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. Looking to move it through the air. Throwing right. He's got an open man. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pocket lets it fly deep downfield. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, UTSA! No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Talk about a breakdown in coverage. That might be the easiest catch he'll have all day. Dude, it doesn't get much easier than that, except the hardest part about this is the walk to the sidelines, because then you have to justify what happened, and your defensive coach is going to be just, just a smidge upset that you left that guy wide open in the end zone for the big play. And the extra point extends the lead to 16. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish things off with a 21-yard touchdown pass. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. To the air, it's Warner trying to get to it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. And that is a major reason why this team is losing the football game. They can't protect the quarterback. They can't generate big plays in the passing game because up front, they're getting beaten time and time again. Just enough time to get off one more snap. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Kyle our halftime update. All right, fellows, the end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Houston. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. 
This young man is the total package, and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside historic Rice Stadium. And the Roadrunners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Here he comes with the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Keep it on the ground. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. Guys, this offense is already reeling down. Multiple possessions really need to cash in on this drive. Looking to throw, it's Warner. Blasted as he lets it go. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. Running it back, it's Anderson. Returns like that are why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Grab behind the line. It's Clark. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. The Roadrunners want to move quickly. Great effort by the defense here. Offense trying to go wide receiver screen. How about the speed on defense rounding to the football? On second down, they'll take to the air. They're bringing heat. Gets rid of it. Can't make the connection in the defense. Putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Pressure coming. He's in a world of trouble, and down he goes. A catastrophic loss on that play. And come on now, O-line. You've got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one that gets you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. you got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. And the Roadrunners will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll try to field the punt and bring it back. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. They'll throw it on first down. Coming after it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Man, a lot of coaches talk about starting the drive positive and a first play that can get you going. The QB just kept backing up and going backwards, and that is not the start to the drive they were looking for. They'll try to put it in drive this time on second down from the 22. Looking to pass. It's Warner. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Getting some heat. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Another sack on the day. This offense has to do something different. Maybe bring in more bodies, run max protection, keep more guys in the block, only send a couple guys out to run pass patterns. you got to do something different. But bottom line, you got to protect that QB. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. He's got his man. 
And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The Roadrunners moving quickly to the line. Second down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. They want to get this defense on its heels. Third down play from the gun. Feeling some heat. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. It is hard to continue to get up and get up and get up like he has being sacked time after time again. But this QB, this offense, they're undeterred. They continue to put drives together. And most importantly, they're winning the football game. And the Roadrunners will send out the punt unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. They'll go to the ground. He breaks a tackle. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. He'll do it himself. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Finds a tight end. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. This offense has a second down play. Looking for a gap, it's Alexander. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. Crosses the 30, he's got away. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And that is such great execution by this offense. Third down and two. They know you're running the football, but they were physical. Great job creating a little bit of space. Not only do you get the first down, you chew up a bunch more yards, too. Nice execution by this offense. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The negative play leaves him with second and 12. The give. Relying on the run, he gets a couple before he's knocked down. Ball's at the 13. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Looking downfield, it's Warner. Looking to the end zone. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. Absolutely perfect. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Alabama rolled to victory, flexing an offensive muscle that almost reminded folks of the record-setting team led by Mac Jones, Najee Harris, and Devontae Smith. It's one game you don't want to react too much either way, but I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. This drive opens up at the 23-yard line. They go to the ground. Banging, slithering, whatever it takes to get that ball up to the 32. The Roadrunners come to the line in the hurry-up. On second down, he'll fire. They're trying to get to it. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. If your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, this defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long. Ball's at the 25. Pockets. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. 
The defense pounced on that. Now they're headed the other way. And that's a huge play by the defense. Great job and great effort getting to the ball carrier and swatting at the football, knocking it out, and then following up for a massive fumble recovery. Rice has the ball back, and they're ready to send the offense back to the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more pressure all over the quarterback, and down he goes at the 24. The defense is just killing it. Success after success after success. If I'm the offense, i got to change something up, or my quarterback's going to be forced to change because he's going to be in the injury team. That's the last thing you want as an offense, a negative play, a sack on first down. Back to throw, it's Warner. Looking to the big tight end. Got him downfield. They make the stop at the two, but he's got enough to give them a first and goal. This offense in scoring position with a fresh set of downs. Slams it ahead. He's got it down to the one yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Second and goal coming up. Wide receiver shows motion. He'll run it to the right here and try to get it into the end zone. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. Great example of how a second half can really change everything for a team. No doubt. First half looked bad. It looked like it was bleak. It looked like it was ugly. But now you're starting to get it turned around. More drives like this is what's needed. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. Trying to get to it. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. Now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. At the end of the quarter, guys, it's UTSA holding the edge. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. Back to pass, it's McCown. And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. What if I told you this quarterback would be sacked at least five times in this game and yet still somehow would be winning? That's not normally how it works. you got to give the offense credit because even though they've suffered some serious negative plays, they've still been able to make some good things happen. And this defense has squatters rights in the backfield. Back-to-back -back sacks, and the crowd is insane. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. They come up with their second safety of the game. You don't see that very often. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. They'll boot it away from their own 20 after taking. Free kick Free out of bounds. Kicking, kicking, kicking. Kick. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Looking for a productive play on first down. 
from the gun. They'll try to impose their will. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll go right back to the run. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. UTSA takes over in the offense, ready to hit the field. Looking to throw, it's McCown. Just a short pass to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And the Roadrunners will hustle for the line. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack. Once the tight end made... It's complete! A huge pickup! Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. That completion delivers a first down. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Pressure coming. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. The quarterback had plenty of time to throw there, but nowhere to go with the football. And eventually, he was shown where to go, to the ground. And those are great for me as a defensive lineman. I love those sacks. I mean, those are so fun because it doesn't matter if I get there in one second or five like it took right here. The defensive backfield did their job, made the QB hold on to the football, and the defensive line just kept pursuing, and then the defense finally got a sack. Well, that's a huge kick right there because now the opponent has to score a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. That put so much pressure on the opponent. Now, nice special teams going out and executing in a big moment. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Rice takes over the Owls, ready to get that offense cooking again. Dropping back, it's Warner. Throws for the tight end. And they can't make the connection. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four-yard line. This poor quarterback has been running for his life. He has never been able to get his feet set, stare downfield, and try and pick this defense apart because he's constantly throwing with pressure in his face. Rice will be forced to send out the punt unit. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He just wanted to get it out of there from his end zone. 
He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Here's a quick throw out to the left. The expressway is wide open. And the defense couldn't corral him, and he took it all the way. Touchdown, Roadrunner! As they push that lead out, a really good opportunity to get back in the win column. These two have spent plenty of time together. That was almost telepathic, David. No doubt, and quarterbacks and wide receivers throw all offseason to get on the same page. You can see he hits him in stride. That's why he gets the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Pittsburgh has had almost no answers today, and when they have had them, that other sideline has changed the questions. They're trailing by 32 to Cal. We are the eyes and ears of the college football fan, and we've got you covered all day here in studio, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. To throw, it's Warner. A little release to the back. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Coming, he lobs one high down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Going back to the well, another deep ball. Brings it down on the right side. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. How about that one? Fourth and forever, and he just turned one loose and fired it for the first down. Man, does that sting defensively. You get him in the perfect situation. You know they're going to pass the football. You play the ball deep, and you give up a deep pass. That is a back-breaking play. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. He's looking to throw. Getting some heat. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. Lofts one high and deep. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. The offense set for a first down play. Caught in the backfield, it's Clark. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. The Roadrunners racing to the line in the hurry up. Back to throw, it's McCown. Unloads to the wide out. A strike downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And first down for the offense. On the run, it's Henry. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Going to work on second down in the red zone. It's still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The gift to the back. 
pulled down after picking up five to the six-yard line. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap, try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. That is no good. Missed the field goal, but still a two touchdown lead at 14. Bryce has the ball back, ready to send the offense back to the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time and put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And the last possession they went for, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Feeling some heat. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. Looking to throw, it's Warner. They're trying to get to him. And he just wore out his welcome in the pocket, stayed in there way too long. A coverage sack for this defense. On fourth down, going to the air. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And a big play on the outside. What a job to keep those feet in bounds and get the completion. What a great job outside working that route. Not only did he get to the sticks to make sure he got the first down, but also was able to get himself out of bounds to stop the clock. You could not do that any better in a two-minute situation. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. It's Alexander. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. Two minutes now left in this one, and time is running short if they want to find a way to pull this one out. On second down, he's looking downfield. Pressure is on the way, and the pressure has arrived, and down he goes at the 30. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Pocket starts to collapse. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Lost one deep down the right side. Incomplete pass, and the defense comes up big, and they take over. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Trying to get to him. Got it! Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Dropping back, it's Warner. Going for six. This is hard for the late touchdown, so let's not put this one to bed just yet. 
And, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you've got to go get the stop. You've got to get the football back. You've got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside, to get the football back, to get back in this football game. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. They put it in the end zone with a 12 play scoring drive. Trailing by a touchdown here in the fourth, they'll try to get it back with the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. UTSA will take over in the offense, ready to return to the field. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level, Dave. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with the W. On first down, here comes this offense. The quarterback takes a knee. You're going to hear guys after this game say, you got to work harder, got to be more intense. You know, sometimes the harder you try, the worse it gets. And it seemed to be that's what happened out there today. Yeah, it just never really got into a rhythm for this team. There's no doubt they've got a lot of very talented players on both sides of the ball. So, David, I don't think this is a situation where they need to now freak out and try to reinvent things on either side of the football. Just being in better rhythm early and trying to find that in their next game, I think, would go along. Yeah, and it's just finding a couple of those plays. What, what do I do really, really well? Let's continue to build on that. Let's take away these negative plays. Let's take away these turnovers. How do we create more turnovers? I think that rhythm you're talking about, Jesse, finding those things that I do well, building on them, and doing more of them. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.